uh, one of our newer members, but uh, former state senator, and very, very involved uh, in making in America issues, Norma Torres of California. Norma, thank you for being with us. And thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Hoyer, uh, for sharing this uh, today's hearing and for continuing to stress the importance of creating good paying jobs right here at home through the Make It in America agenda. It is an honor to join you and my other colleagues here today, especially Mr. Lewis that I adore. I represent the Inland Empire, which in addition to manufacturing is a hub for logistics and processing. As an inland port, many of the goods that that come into the ports of LA and Long Beach go through my district before being shipped to the rest of the country. Unfortunately, however, my district was also among the hardest hit in the recession. While we're certainly on the rebound, many of the jobs that have come back are lower wage, lower skill, and part-time jobs. They're not the kinds of jobs that you can raise a family on. Job creation remains at the, at the forefront of my constituents' concerns. This is why continuing on our meeting in the district um, last fall, I spent my first 120 uh, days in office on a jobs listening tour of my district, meeting with the local economic leaders, educational professionals, employees, owners of businesses, both large and small. I wanted to hear straight from them what they thought we should do to bring jobs to our region. My findings from this tour and recommendations were detailed in a report that can be found on my website. But I can tell you that the quick and cost efficient transport of goods requires safe and modern roads, bridges, railways, and you can't connect people to employment centers without expanding public transportation, affordable public transportation. This requires significant long-term investment in our nation's infrastructure, yet we're facing a 3.6 trillion funding shortfall over the next five years, and we are relying on short-term stop-gap transportation authorization bills. There's no question Congress must do its job and pass a long-term highway trust fund authorization, but we also have to look at new innovative strategies to fill the gap. The first bill I introduced after the listening tour, the Regional Infrastructure Accelerator Act, would help us do just that. Through the creation of a multi-state organizations or regional infrastructure acceler accelerators, my bill will connect finance and infrastructure professionals with local state governments to provide them with the technical expertise and pre redevelop pre-development capital needed to attract private investment to public infrastructure projects. But even if we create jobs in the U.S. and build the infrastructure to support them, we need to make sure that American workers are trained to fill them. The Job Opportunities Between Our Shores Act, or Jobs Act, which also came out of what I've heard and what you heard uh, during my listening tour, will connect educational institutions with manufacturers to train job seekers in the skills employers demand. There is already one such program at work in my district with a partnership between California Steel Industries and Chafee College. This is a model we should grow and build upon as manufacturing jobs in the Inland Empire and across the country are bouncing back. If the recession has taught us anything, it is that in order to build a resilient economy that can withstand future economic challenges, we need a dynamic educated workforce and a diverse local economy. Comprehensive demand-driven uh, educational programs <laughs> like those proposed in the JOBS Act will help quickly train unemployed and displaced workers to meet the needs of a, challenge, of a changing economy. The global economy is only getting more competitive. We can't afford to take a back seat and hope things will work out for the best. Congress needs to step up and take action to spur job growth right here at home. Finding innovative ways to train American workers both in high-tech manufacturing as well as other growing fields and to fund our nation's infrastructure are start and should form part of the Make It in America agenda. I thank you, uh, uh, Whip, um, 
for your leadership in ensuring that we this conversation will continue at every level in the U.S. Capitol. Well, thank you, Congressman, and I thank you very